in today's video I'm going to show you very unusual setup for a shrimp tank. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Hello guys, it's shrimp time here and welcome in yet another interesting video about shrimp keeping. Unfortunately, Caridina shrimp tanks are quite boring. Usually you are trying to go with everything so simple that this tank can look dull and now I'm trying a little different approach. I'm trying to make unusual, beautiful Caridina breeding shrimp tank. Step one, wake up early, go rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, as you can see, we are making a tank with a thick layer of soil, with fertilized soil and with high quality, high demanding plants. And the main reason to use that is to input CO2 into the tank and to make your shrimps feel good with CO2. And on the other hand, to manage your pH, to keep it on a certain level using the CO2. And you can ask if it's even possible, because it is so hard for shrimps to get those parameter swings to breed in this type of condition. So how are you going to keep those shrimps and plant which will not only need a nice CO2, but they also need an fertilizer input. I'm going to run NPK, the basic fertilizer. So we are going to add almost everything for the shrimps in this third and we will use the lean fertilization method. So we are going to put just a little bit of ferts into the tank so that your shrimps won't get a lot of the substances that are able to make them suffer. I will also put a little bit of KH, the carbon hardness. And the main reason why I'm trying to put this KH into the tank is the fact that I need a little bit of buffer for the pH control. I will go around 5 GH and around 0 0.25 KH so that I can add a little, a little amount of CO2 into the tank. Another important factor is that we will put the CO2 into the tank only during the day. We won't add CO2 during the night because in the night when the lights are off, the plants won't feed and they will not convert the CO2 into the oxygen. So you know the basic ideas and now it's the high time to look how the plants in the tank develop during this time. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Guys, we are in the fourth week of this tank life and now we will put the shrimps inside the tank and we will check if the shrimps will be happy, if they will breed and grow nice. I got my shrimps coat uh, from my another tank. We we'll use PRL line and as usually I will make a little bit of acclimatization for those shrimps. And now they are ready, ready to enter the tank. As you can see, the tank looks beautiful. I don't remember when last time 
I was able to acquire so nice looking tank and I hope that using this setup with a lot of filtration with a help of CO2 I will be able to breed those shrimps. And guys if you like this video you can watch my other video about the bacteria products that you should use in your tank. Thank you and keep on shrimping.